I'd like to talk to you today about the Muslim as a Demi. I've given several talks in which I try to show people that it is the Sharia and the status of Demi, D-H-I-M-M-I, is what causes the Christianity or the Buddhism or Hinduism to disappear. And usually what I do is I go through something called the Treaty of Umar, which is a contract that was signed when Islam conquered Jerusalem. It was a contract between the Caliph and the Christians. And these were terrible rules that they had to follow. But in order to really drive them home, I would like for you to pretend like that the Muslims have signed a Demi Treaty with our culture, with our civilization. And let's see what it feels like to put the shoe on the other foot. What would it be like if the Muslim were a Demi in America? Now, every one of these things that I'm going to give you are things that the Christians were subjugated to. Let's start off with, Muslims shall not build any new mosques. Muslims shall not call to prayer any louder than can be heard from the sidewalk of the mosque. This is a corollary of the Christians couldn't ring their bells loud enough to be heard. Our minarets shall not be higher than 15 feet. Muslims shall not build houses any higher than a surrounding house of a kafir. Muslims will not have any position or place of authority over any kafir. Muslims will not vote, nor will they be citizens in any kafir nation. Muslims will not serve in the military, police force, or have any government position. Muslims will not testify in kafir courts, nor will they sue any kafir. Muslims will not give a shelter in their mosque or homes to any jihadi. Muslims will not teach Islam to any kafir. Muslims will not manifest Islam publicly, and they will not try to convert any kafir. And they will not prevent any Mohammedan from leaving the religion of Islam if they wish. Muslims shall not own, nor will they carry any weapons. Muslims shall not display their books in the marketplace. And Muslims will pay the Islamic tax of 50% of their income. Once a year, they will shave their heads and kneel before the kafir to present the tax on Muslims. Now, as you hear these rules, you realize, you know, if we actually did these rules in America, Muslims would leave or convert, which is exactly what Christians did in Turkey, North Africa, and the Middle East. It's what happened to the Buddhists and the Hindus. They were subjected to rules just like these. And so after a while they converted. It may have taken centuries, but they converted or they left Islam. Now then that you've seen how the Treaty of Umar treats the Kafir, you can see that no Muslim would ever volunteer to be part of that same treatment. Thank you.